What's going on everyone? Today I wanna to walk you through a quick tutorial about how to clean images in Adobe Photoshop beta. Now this is if you have an image like this and you wanna say remove this part here or fix any little issues that pop up in your photos you wanna remove an item from that photo. So let me walk you through this. Now the key to this is that you're gonna need the Adobe Photoshop beta. This will allow you to use the generative fill AI tool, and that's built into the program. It's incredibly easy, so we're gonna do that with two images here. We'll do one, this beautiful scenic shot, where we'll remove this kind of piece of wood and umbrella of sorts here from the image that are kind of making it uh, a little bit less visually appealing. And then two, we'll go to this beautiful shot of my dog. He's got a couple cuts on his face here, so we're gonna remove those in just a few seconds as well. So let's pop over and start with this image. Now, it's really incredibly easy. This will be a quick video. All you need to do is start by going to your lasso tool and just make a little bit of a circle around what it is you wanna change. I also wanna get rid of that reflection. And then your generative fill box will pop up. So we'll click generative fill, and we'll say remove objects. And you could type whatever you want here. If you haven't played with the generative fill tool, there's so much you could do. We could add a lot to this image, but this video is all about removing things that we don't want in images. So let's see how this works. It's just gonna run its little generative tool, and then over here we'll have three different variations. You can see just like that, the image has been removed. And if we don't like the way it looks, we can choose a couple other options, but I think overall this looks great. So now we have our image, the unwanted object is gone. And just for example's sake, let's actually see if we can remove this building here too, just for the example. If we wanted to remove this building, we draw a circle around it and we would say, remove building, generate. Let's see if this can do the trick here too. Now you can see we have a little bit of a reflection of the building right here. So if we wanted to remove that, we would have needed to highlight that area. But this is just for example's sake to show you what's, positive, what's possible with the Photoshop beta generative fill tool. And just like that, the building is totally removed. It's recreated this background here. So that's exactly how you do that. And again, we'll have another video on adding things with the generative fill, but this is how we can remove objects using this quick and easy tool. So let's pop over here and we'll do the same thing here with my little pup. So we're gonna draw a little circle around the blemishes. There's one, there's two, and we need this little box to move actually. And there is three. Now I'm just drawing these circles and holding shift so that I can make multiple selections. And we will just write remove mark and generate. Now let's see if it can clean up the fur here and remove those blemishes. You could do this obviously with a pet, you could do this with a human, you could do it with really any image. And just like that, in a matter of seconds, we have removed any marks on his face. He's looking very cute, very furry, and that's all you have to do. So that is how we remove objects in Adobe Photoshop. You gotta have the Photoshop beta application using the generative fill tool, a really fun, easy, fast way to clean up images if you need to remove any object. So if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. There's gonna be a lot more tutorials just like this. So thank you for watching and we'll check you back in the next one.